Uh, Dan, what do you think? Yeah, so I'm long it. I've been on calls. I've been telling people I think there's a two down, kind of five or six up sort of scenario. Well, we got the two down. It's actually, you know, three down. Um, and on a percentage basis, it's kind of massive. When you think about all the news that we've had from August with the job cuts, the restructuring that we saw in September, the market initially liked that in September, right? And so the stock had rallied. It had come all the way back here. Karen, you said on the desk the other night, man, this thing has not gotten out of its own way in a long time. I'll just say this. I'm going to be buying more. I bought some on the plunge below $10 on the last really big disappointment here. And I just think that, again, if Elon buys Twitter, a company that's going to do $5 billion in revenues that has a margin about 60 percent of much lower ARPU than Facebook and everything like that, then this thing with a $14 billion enterprise value is just way too cheap. It, even though they are in the throes of a massive downturn, this secular shift that we all know um, for assets. So to me, I think it's really interesting if you're new to the story, but you don't, I mean, this is, it's, it's a tough one here because it's a hat size now. Is it big enough to be a tell? That's the debate I'm hearing. Right. Is, is, is it size? Is it systemic in any way, even to the sector? Well, they, the sector's trading like it is systemic, and I've got to think directionally it is because of some of, you know, the Apple privacy issues still are, you know, weighing them down, and I think Meta is going to have the same issues. But, all, you know, I think that uh, Alphabet should be much less affected because of their search, not, not so... Uh, dependent on, on Apple, but also just the broad talk about advertisers sort of, you know, pulling in the purse strings a little bit, um, direct response advertising. Uh, the brand advertising is actually not doing as well, so that I think they're going to do less of that. So I think that will read also to Meta, unfortunately, which I own, which has, you know, really been awful this year. Uh, and I think less so to, to um, Alphabet. I think we've seen Alphabet actually be a beneficiary in some ways. Yeah, but we, we always ask this question, though, is this a snap issue or is this an industry issue? And, and I think, obviously, we know the industry's got headwinds. We know their ad budget's being cut. We know there's a lot of anxiety. And we also know that every media company has been hit hard and hit often. Uh, and I would say that they were the first ones to really get knocked down. And Snap has done this many times. But uh, I'm going to attribute a lot of this to, to Snap, because when you think about their model, they are at least highest in the funnel on attribution in terms of where advertisers can actually say, hey, uh, Snap is the place I want to advertise and I want to give that budget to, they can't do that. And the iOS issue hits them harder than anybody. Facebook at least is getting the sales done on their platform. And, and so to me, I, I look at this, we all know it's a difficult time. And if you're an advertiser at this time when you're cutting budgets, um, Snap's the first place to go. So I, I think that's really what it comes down to. I, I just think it, it is slightly structural at a time when it's a really difficult place. I go and look at it. I mean, yes, it's a disaster. Is it a 25% disaster on top of the move we've already seen? I mean, this has been flatlining now for months at 10 bucks. But I'll say this quickly to Karen's point. I mean, if you're making the jump that Google should be down in sympathy, I understand why you do that. I think it's wrong. And as a matter of fact, in the earnings next week, Google probably with now a 97 handle flirting with a 52-week low probably sets up well. Snap, and Steve, if Steve were here, we'd talk about the three-day roll. I'd throw that out the window and say, this stock's going to trade north of 100 million shares tomorrow, which is going to be three or four times normal volume. And I think you can buy this for a trade. So Snap for a trade, Google for investment going into earnings next week.